Hello everyone and welcome in this video. Today we're gonna talk about Android Auto and uh, you can see right here emulated on my PC we're gonna see together a very powerful app to personalize a lot of the Android Auto user experience. The app is called AA AIO Tweaker. You can see it on the left hand side. This is my phone screen. It requires a rooted phone. It's free and open source. It can be downloaded from GitHub and at the time of recording this video, the latest version was the 3.0.1, but you can check the link in the description down below to get to the download page. And as said before, it contains a lot of tweaks to have a different user experience of Android Auto. Once you open it, there's a screen that warns the user on the potential risk of using this app because it can override some safety features built into Android Auto. So please uh, use this app carefully and be aware of what you're actually doing. So let's see it, I understand. And uh, as you can see, there's an interface full of buttons and symbols and each and every button corresponds to a tweak that can be applied. And um, as you can see, there are really a lot of tweaks. Um, there are also built-in tutorials that will explain uh, what a tweak will do. You just have to long press on a button and uh, a, po a tutorial will pop up. For example, let's long press this one. And this is explaining that this tweak will activate the new change of wallpaper feature inside Android Auto. Every tweak is explained, so in case you're confused, uh, there are also visual tutorials with screenshots in some cases to have a, a better understanding of what you can apply. And uh, swiping to the left, you can see there's another panel in which you will have a log of uh, what the application has done once you activate or deactivate a tweak. So um, uh, let's see together some of the tweaks available for choosing. You can see the very first one is for patching the custom apps. And this is probably one of the major points of strength of this app because as of Android Auto 6.0 or above, Google introduced a new method to block third-party apps such as CarStream, Fermata Auto, Screen to Auto, AA Mirror, etc. And AA AIO Tweaker has an updated version of the patch for custom apps, just like AA Phenotype Patcher, with the difference that this one right here will work on updated versions of Android Auto, plus it contains a lot of more stuff. Now you can see the emulator on the right hand side, on the home screen there's CarStream, Fermata and Screen to Auto, but let's hop into Android Auto settings directly from AA AIO Tweaker's menu, let's choose to personalize the launcher and you can see them on the phone screen as well, but as soon as I will close the emulator, check this out they disappeared and this will mean that as soon as I get in the car I won't see the apps anymore and I saw them on the emulator just uh, well you know for testing so <clears throat> let's fix this and patch the apps once again let's go back to AA AIO Tweaker I'm going to hit select the apps and from here I'm gonna choose the app that I want to see again on Android Auto. So I want to choose CarStream, Fermata and Screen2 Auto. They are on the top. So once selected, let's do the patch again. I've got a green status and uh, this should be successful. If I swipe, I can have a log of the comments applied. The app says to reboot, but instead let's see some other tweaks uh, together and see what they do. Uh, for example, I want to deactivate the tap limits and this will make so that browsing the apps will be always allowed in lists, for example. Um, let's also force uh, enable the widescreen mode. 
And uh, I can also tweak the duration of uh, ads up notifications. Uh, the, those are the notifications that appear when a new message comes. I can set it to like 12 seconds. There you go. Um, I can also tweak the bottom bar of Android Auto. Look at this tutorial. Uh, this will let me see the track infos and album art. You can see it right here. Uh, so um, I can set it to up to 900 seconds. So it's 15 minutes. The info will be shown basically forever. And also I can tweak the number of days in the calendar app. I can set seven days. And there's also this patch that will enable messaging apps and I will be able to see uh, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, Skype and other apps as an icon. So now I have enabled this tweet. Let's uh, reboot and see how Android Auto changed. Okay, first thing first, uh, let's open Android Auto settings. Because I want to show you if I go into the launcher settings look we can see car stream screen to auto fermata auto and we have whatsapp messages and skype as well so these are the tweaks applied with AA AIO tweaker well now let's open again Android Auto and see how it is changed Okay, folks, as you can see, now I have widescreen mode, even if the screen is not so big. It doesn't look that good, but it's working. I am able uh, to change the wallpapers, even though this feature is basically live for everyone right now, from a couple of weeks, but you can see I have it with uh, some custom wallpapers that were applied with a substratum theme uh, wallpapers for AA and I also have uh, extras for AA applied you can see the icons on the left and swiping down we can also see WhatsApp, Skype and messages if I open one of them I'm able to see the messages when they arrive so now let's uh, take a look at the calendar too and we have seven days instead of just one. Well, I also wanted to show you the bottom bar, but now I have activated the widescreen mode. Uh, so now let's go back to AA AIO tweaker so I can show you. Uh, now, uh, obviously, there's the first screen with the warning. Uh, okay, let's disable the widescreen mode. The tweak is now reverted. I also want to show you the multi-display feature, which is uh, very, very interesting. Uh, once I reboot my phone again, I'm gonna show you. Okay, the phone uh, has rebooted again. Now let's open Android Auto once again. And let's bring up the screen of my phone and you can see there's uh, Google Maps on the phone screen and this is the Google Maps running on Android Auto. Right now is not taking the GPS. I can also choose a music app by swiping on my phone screen. But let's go back to Maps because uh, um, with this multi-display feature the phone screen is an extension of Android Auto and this is very interesting um, especially if you have a, a phone mounted on the car because uh, if I set up a navigation I can see indications turn by turns on the phone and now I have put play on the music and this should disappear after 8 seconds, but this will stay for 900 seconds. This is not going away anytime soon, as I have chosen. So, this was AAAIO Tweaker. Of course, there are lots 
of tweaks available and it may take a while to show them all so just install the app have fun with it and if you like this video please uh, put a like down below subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and we'll see you guys in the next one